Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode. Basically today, what we're going to be doing is showing off a new Bleach mod and a new Bleach server called Icy Souls. We are bringing it back, one of the fan favorites. And uh, if you guys are wondering, we're kind of doing something different with our servers moving forward. We are going to have multiple servers up at multiple times. So basically right now, obviously Icy Hockey is still up. You know, we're still streaming on there and, um, you know, doing things on there. LW is still up. People are still playing that and grabbing grinding up their KGs and dungeons and all that. And uh, now we're gonna have Icy Souls and uh, there will be some more stuff coming in the next few days that you guys will notice on the channel and streams too, which by the way, if you guys didn't know, check out the streams, link is in the description. I've been streaming a lot more. Um, I'm gonna be streaming this server a lot, making videos on the server, streaming Icy Hockey and maybe streaming some Pixelmon stuff coming up here soon too, which you guys can all see that um, in the link down below. I do also want to say that at the time of this video coming out, the server is about to be launching. So if you guys want to join the server, uh, go ahead and click the link in the description. It is free to join. Join the Discord. Join the Discord and uh, you guys will be able to go to the how to join page from there. Download the mod pack and the IP is in the mod pack. You don't need to ask anybody for the IP. Everything that you need is going to be in there. So let's go ahead and start this out and explain how this works. As you can see, I just joined the world and you're going to go ahead and press P to select your Race. Now, this is very important for everybody to listen to. Do not pick hollow. If you pick hollow, hollows are not currently in the mod. So we do have some plans on how to, um, you know, unlock hollows, but uh, this is Icy Souls Thousand Year Blood War, which I should have said at the start. So, um, you know, I would say go with the Quincy Shinigami or go with the human if you want to become a full bringer. I'm obviously going to go with the Shinigami because uh, that's what we're going to be playing as in this playthrough and on stream and everything, because, you know, we got to show out for our Shinigami. So as a Shinigami, you're going to spawn in with your uniform, your leggings and your boots. Obviously, you're going to want to put those on so that you're looking at drippy now. Uh, we are in the spawn. Once you're Shinigami, you're going to be able to go to the uh, store and get your free, basically, uh, faction chooser, I guess. And you'll be able to warp Shinigami after that. And you'll be in the Soul Society. Now, in this video, I'm also going to be showing off parts of the map because this map is actually insane. And I'll go ahead and explain more and more about how the server works as time goes on. So make sure that you guys are paying attention if you uh, if you do plan on playing the server. I'll try to make it as entertaining as possible, but there is quite a bit to explain. So as you can tell, the entirety of the Soul Society is here. The whole thing is here. And obviously we've got one and over here too, which uh, we might go over in another video. I might show a little bit on this video, but uh, we have the entire Soul Society. And if you go to the middle, there is the Hyogoku or not the Hyogoku, the uh, well, I guess technically the Hyogoku, but it, it's not there. You guys, you guys understand what I'm saying. But within each of these sections, if you guys know, each of these sections on the map is where a uh, where a squad resides. We are going to have squads in this um, in this server. So you're going to be able to become a squad captain, a vice captain, or I guess technically a lieutenant and um, basically lead your squad to victory and compete against other squads, compete against the Quincy and against the full bringers. And uh, there are visored in this mod as well. All right, so let's see, let's say that you just became a Shinigami. How do you become stronger? Well, you might ask yourself that, but uh, if you have the Shinigami badge, you're gonna be able to right click it and you're gonna go ahead and get your sword, which is unnamed because you have to learn your sword's name before you can activate it and, you know, obviously unleash your Zanpakuto and also unleash your Bankai. So in your soul form, you can press P and this is gonna bring up a stat page. Obviously, we are 100% Shinigami. You can eat souls of other races to become that race and reset your race and do all of that special stuff, but as you can see, uh, dude, I, guys, I just love this mod. I really do. I'm going to be explaining quite a bit in this video and I'll explain more in streams and stuff. But um, forgive me if I jump around because this mod is uh, very, very in depth. And as you can see, we do get little animations when we're uh, even just left clicking. I'm just left clicking here and we get some cool animations. This mod is uh, super, super cool. And as you can see, the sword is on the hill again. Sorry, I'm going to be bouncing around a lot in this video because there's a lot to explain. So as I was saying on your stat page, you can see that we're level one out of 100. We have zero out of 100 XP. Our shit guy is false because we haven't unlocked it. Obviously, Bankai is false. We are not a visored and we don't know what type of visored we are because we're not one. But if we go over here to stats, 
you're going to be able to see that you have HP, attack, skills, def def oh my gosh, defense, I can't talk, and movement. So when you're level one, you're only going to be able to max these out at 10, but I'm pretty sure that all of these go up to like 100 or more, I believe. I think the HP goes up to 250. I could be wrong on that, but uh, I've never become max on this mod. So what's really cool about this mod, though, is it has basically indefinite stats. And what I mean by that is not that these stats go up indefinitely, with unlocks because like I said before they do max out at like 100 or 250 something around those lines but uh, we do have Raishi in this mod down here you can see the Raishi bar we're only at 100 now as time goes on we can game rule set this server to have more Raishi less Raishi and the way that Raishi works is it will stat boost your stats by a certain percentage so I believe that the default max Raishi is 10k so once you reach 10k Raishi your stats will be doing a hundred percent of what they are so you're doing a hundred percent damage um but say that you only have a thousand reishi out of ten thousand you're only going to be doing ten percent of what you actually could be doing but now we can go beyond the 10k we can set that to like 50k and you'll be doing 500 percent damage and defense and all that type of stuff and uh yeah basically what i'm saying is this server is going to be uh indefinite stats which we have been wanting from a server for since the beginning of time in this in this community if you guys are hyped for that make sure you leave a comment down below saying endless stats or like max stats or something uh or uncapped stats i want to see a lot of uncapped stats with a bunch of exclamation points down below so that is the basics of stats but now um would you unlock those stats how do i level up obviously you know we could wait for night here in karakura town well not karakura town because this is the soul society but you guys know what i mean we could wait here till night in the soul society and just kill random hollows but we might be able to do something cooler and let me show you guys what that looks like now so if we go back into p and we hit type you're gonna see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different types. Now, this is important for everybody, not just Shinigami. This is important for Quincy, and I believe it's important for Fullbringer as well. Um, once you get enough stat points in your Eishi, you're gonna need 50 total of these in order to unlock your Zanpakuto. Now, this is where the server gets cool. Obviously, we want to highlight on PvP collectability and building your stats and builds and all that. And we thought, how can we do that? Now, there are pressure plates hidden around Karakura, or not Karakura Town, sorry, I keep on calling this Karakura, hidden around Soul Society that teleport you to dungeons. The same thing goes for over here at the Quincy, and then there are some hidden in between, I do believe. I think that there's two in between and four, or one in between and four on each of the um, sides, but... If we were to go to here and warp, let's just start at the Dark Dungeon. You would spawn here in the Dark Dungeon, and as you can tell, there are Dark Type Hollows that you can kill here to grind for that specific stat in order to try to get specific different builds. So now let's go ahead and warp to the Fire Dungeon, and I'll explain a little bit more as we just kind of chill here and enjoy the view. Basically, what I'm trying to say is the Quincy also need these dungeons. So we thought, what better way to highlight the Thousand Year Blood War than have four on each side? Now, what I mean by that is obviously the pressure plates are hidden around each of the quote unquote villages, and uh, you're going to have to fight over the dungeons in order to hold them. Now, there will be a point system to this, and we're not 100% sure how we are going to do this, but it is going to be mainly Shinigami versus Quincy in this server. Fullbringers can take their own side, as well as Visors can take their own side. Um, meaning they can pick between the Shinigami and Quincy on which side to like, you know, help out or fight with and take over dungeons with. And uh, I think that there's going to be a lot of cool different groups that form because of this. And um, obviously the squads and the Shinigami are going to be really, really cool. Um, and a visor can become a captain, actually. So if you're a visor, you can become a captain. You can become obviously a Quincy leader, all of that type of stuff and uh, get your letter and everything else like that. It's going to be really, really cool. I guess while we're on the topic of Quincy, I can go ahead and fly around and uh, show you guys off one and right now these builds are absolutely amazing i want to thank the build team for really showing out on the server it looks amazing all of the dungeons look great uh this one and right looks amazing it looks so good we have little buildings on each side and then if you go out to the um i guess extensions there are also buildings over here so i think that this is each of these is where we're gonna have each like squad be for the for um the quincy i believe is how we're gonna do it 
And if you go down below, obviously everything is just frozen down here. It is so cool. This place is obviously amazing. Now, if I were back to Quincy, you're going to notice that I don't spawn on the closest thing towards the, um, the Shinigami. So the Shinigami spawn like about right here. The Quincy spawn right about here. They're going to be fighting over this specific entrance a lot. Now, uh, maybe they're going to flank around this way or this way, or the, uh, Shinigami might flank around this way, but it's going to be really, really cool to see what ends up happening with the war between the Quincy and Shinigami. But enough of that. I know that you guys want to see what this mod has to offer. Now, I'm going to be showing off just a little bit in this video. Um, we're going to be showing off more and more as time goes on, obviously. But this, the main point of this video was to show off the server and how things work and how you basically, uh, you know, start off as a Shinigami slightly. Uh, obviously, like I said, we'll probably make tutorial videos and stuff um, in the coming future for Shinigami, Quincy, Fullbringer, all that. But we want people to be able to figure that out themselves and enjoy the server without like guides and all that so if you go over here we go over to weapons there are a lot of weapons in this mod now there are obviously shikai bankai there are a bunch of different quincy weapons there's a bunch of different shrifts there are a bunch of different full bringer weapons and transformations now there is also the hyogoku which uh you guys will figure out as time goes on what the hyogoku is used for i don't want to spoil anything i want y'all to figure out for yourselves but um yeah, the Hyogoku actually has a point in this mod, which is really cool. The Tenshutai Summon, this is how you unlock your Bankai and Shikai. I do believe that's exactly how you do the Bankai. Um, the Pfizer, you get a Mask Reset Pill, Stat Reset Pill, and we do have custom resets in this. Um, so if we type in Reroll, you get a Zanpakuto Reroll, a Shrift Reroll, and a Fullbringer Reroll. Now, let me go ahead and test this out because I believe this might actually give me my shit or my zanpak toe from the start so if we use the zanpak toe reroll if we hit p right now obviously the asuchi that's just a regular um sword but if i use this then i will have unlocked my oh my gosh and i got zangetsu okay so let's um let's go ahead and respawn so that we can use this all right, so now when I respawn, as you can tell, I do have a red Shinigami badge, which uh, obviously is different from what I had before. When I use this, it is going to release Zangetsu. Now, Zangetsu has moves. All of these uh, weapons have moves, and if you hover over them and click shift, it will tell you exactly what it does. Obviously, skill one, it unlocks your Zanpak Toe and releases it into the Shikai form. So uh, if we use skill one, right click, it is going to release Zangetsu, the true Zangetsu, not just uh, Shikai form. Or sorry, it's going to release actual Shikai form, not just the Zanpak Toe. So now in the Shikai form, we can see that we have Getsuga Tensho and Bankai as our second ability. But let me just show you off uh, Getsuga Tensho real quick. This is, oh, we don't have enough Raetsu. Hold on, we, we need some Raetsu real quick. So if we use some Raishi candy, our Raishi in the bottom right will go up. Oh, God, and we're getting fought by hollows. Okay, these are the wind hollows. That's a good 10 show. Bro, okay, yeah, that did not kill him because we have no stats, but uh, yeah, this is what you guys are going to be grinding and trying to unlock. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so sick. Okay, 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 let's see if we can use this again. Okay, I think we need 50 Raishi to use Getsuga. Uh, don't have Bankai yet. Oh, wait. We accidentally went to the next skill. Um, let's go ahead and go back to Gessica Tensho. Oh, wait, we need how many? Oh, my gosh, I can't see. Get out of my way, chat. I can't see how many we need. I think it says 60, though. Gessica Tensho. No, what the heck? Why can't we use it? There we go. And we actually one shot him there. It took like 65 or something. Reishi, but it's blocked by the armor bar. But that is sick, dude. I'm so hyped for that. Now, as you can tell, I'm in uh, kind of like a wither looking spot. Here. I don't want to spoil too much, like I said, but I'm giving you guys a little bit of, uh, I don't know, uh, hidden cookies in this video. If you watch this long, um, you guys will see there is a wither skeleton behind me. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you guys why that wither skeleton is here, but, um, I'm sure that if you guys understand how this mod works, oh my gosh, and we're gonna get killed by this wither. Yeah, we absolutely got slaughtered by the wither, but it's okay. Yeah, so when you respawn, you just respawn with your Shinigami badge. You can, um, unleash your Zanpak Toe, and I really like Zangetsu because it goes on your back like this and have a, has a sheath on it. It's actually really sick. Now, let's go ahead and release this. 
And if we put it on our back, it has the bandages all around it, which I think is just, it's such a cool touch. Like, dude, the small touches on this mod are so sick. And uh, I'm on the topic of small touches. Let me go ahead and show you guys. We do have our own captain's robes. Um, Cray has went ahead and made all of these captain's robes. So if we put this on squad A captain, um, let me show you guys what this looks like. Yeah, we are dripped out and... Uh, let me go ahead and go into survival mode so you guys can see this. Uh, this has a plus nine armor, plus three armor toughness, and plus one knockback resistance, where this already only has plus six armor. Yeah, um, these captain's robes are actually worth having. If you become a real lore captain, you're going to get these lore captain robes. Now, if you want to look drippy like this and uh, you don't have the, you know, captain's role um, in the server, I have some good news for you. You can actually get these as uh basically i don't know cosmetics i guess we could call them you can get captain's robes cosmetics you can get quincy cosmetics for the uh shrift abilities and all that type of stuff and uh you just won't have the buffs with them but we do have also the quincy armors in here too now, I do want to tell you guys something that is really cool about this mod. If you guys remember before, whenever you played a server and didn't purchase things, basically you were kind of stuck with whatever you had. On this server, I've got really good news for you. If you hit P and you go back to this race, obviously you can see I'm 100% Shinigami. But if I were to grind out and, and you know, obviously fight a bunch of hollows or something, um, I could go ahead and eat this hollow soul. And if I go back here, you'll see I have one in hollow, one in Shinigami. Now, switching your races and uh, resetting certain things will reset all of your stats and progression, but some of it might be worth it. Now, obviously, if you want to reroll, um, you're gonna have to become a human again and then become a shinigami again and uh obviously that's gonna reset your stats but the good news is you can do different builds different stat resets and all that type of stuff as you can see behind me we do have stat resets full bringer rerolls uh zanpak till reroll zanpak till reroll visored reroll and hyogoku um all available for purchase if you want to test out a bunch of different stuff faster than you normally would be able to so basically what i'm saying is uh if we go to like i don't know which one haven't we shown off yet power dungeon let's go to the power dungeon let's say that we want to go here and test out what combination we get um for our typing on like power and wind right or like power power wind and a little bit of control um we could do all of that and grind up different builds and reset ourselves as a free-to-play player without having to buy stuff now obviously if you buy stuff it's gonna be way faster but um if you do it this way you guys can do a bunch of different stuff try out different builds become a quincy become a shinigami become a full bringer you know switch up your sides and all of that as a free-to-play player and we are thinking that this is gonna you know obviously keep the life of the server up for a long time not only that but as I mentioned before, the unlimited stats is also going to be a thing, which we add stats over time so that each player can kind of catch up or get max stats. And then next week, we might release, you know, a thousand more Reishi that you can unlock to unlock even more percent of damage and speed and all that stuff. But I think that I've done quite enough rambling in this video, guys. If you guys are hyped for Icy Souls Thousand Year Blood War, drop a like, drop a comment that you're joining. And uh, like I said in the video, join the Discord and you can get the mod pack, the IP, everything you need. And it is free to play in the Discord description down below. Check out my Twitch streams, which I'm going to be streaming tonight on server launch. Make sure you're there. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'm hyped to see where this server takes us, boys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.